Hello and welcome back. So far, we have seen the fundamentals of Zero. We have learned the basic navigation and we have also seen that how to see the impact of any transaction that we record on the reports. From now, we will start to explore a specific modules one by one. And let us begin by looking at the sales module. In this module, we will be learning everything that we need to record our sales and to manage the receivables that arise as a result of recording sales. This does not appear in Zero as a separate module, but the features that are there, I can combinedly refer to them as module. Now let us start by recording the income. You know that we have learned that if you have to record the income, you will first notice that where you are receiving that money, in which bank account, and once you know that, you will have the option to record this receive money transaction here, and once you do that, you are able to record the proper income using this account option here. So here, whatever we are recording, that will be recorded in your income. So for accounting purposes, each transaction will have a dual impact. We will be receiving the money in the current account, that will be one impact, but the, at the same time, we will also be recording the income. Now this method of recording income will be used when we are receiving the money in our bank. But what if, if we have to record the income now, but the money has not been received yet, it will be received in the future. So let me explain you. Accounting can be done on cash basis and accounting can also be done on accrual basis. Normally, in almost all the countries, accounting is required to be done on a curial basis. A curial basis means that you have to record your income when it has been earned, which means that if I have provided the services to the customer, I have to record my income. On the opposite side, on the expense side, we have to record our expenses when they have been incurred even though the payment has not yet been made. This is important. We have to follow the accounting laws here and especially the laws of the specific country here because you know, if we do not record the income, it means that we are not going to pay our taxes and many other decision makers will be impacted if we do not record the income. So even though for your own purposes, you can choose to record the income on cash basis when the cash is coming, you still have to respect the laws of your country if you are specifically doing your business as a as limited liability company or a partnership or even in case of sole proprietorship, you have to understand that what is the applicable law in your country. But now let's get back to the point. We have to record the income now, but the money will be coming after some days. How would we record that? For this, we will click on this business tab here. And here you will see this option of invoices. We will click on that and it will take us to the screen where we can record the invoice. To record the invoice, you will click on new invoice. To see the existing invoice, you have all these options, draft invoices, invoices awaiting approval, invoices awaiting payment, invoices that have already been paid. We will come back later and see all these options when we have data. For now, let us begin by recording our first invoice. So we will click on the new invoice option here and this will take us to this screen where we can enter all the details to record a sale and raise an invoice. So first of all, let's enter a customer name. Here the name is Amanda Clinton and since it is a new name, we will have to add a new contact here. And by the way, as you are entering the new contact, you can also enter their email address, their phone number and their billing address. Now with that, we can add an issue date, which can be any date that you want. And then, you know, uh, there will be a due date. You can pick up these dynamic numbers here, or you can pick a specific date, something like this. Then there is an invoice number, which is auto generated by zero, but you can definitely edit that. Then there is the reference field. It is for your own memo purpose only. If you want to remember something about this invoice, you can enter that field here. 
it will not be involved in accounting and when you raise the invoice using this data the customer will not be seeing this then you have to choose an online payment method we have not set up the payment methods until now so we will skip this part for now we will talk about it later then you can choose the invoice currency that in which currency you are going to invoice your customer right now it is tbp for us but if you are invoicing in some other country in europe or in america you may like to raise the invoice in their currency i mean eur or usd but for that you will have to first activate the currency in your zero account we have not done that yet we will do it later on and then this amount is exclusive since i have already mentioned that we are talking about a non-registered business for now we will talk about taxes later on now let's talk about these fields here you can add an item that is optional or you can like to skip that then there is a description part here we can add something like consultation or whatever the description is the quantity in my case is going to be one and now here you will enter the value of this particular sale or you can say value of this invoice and now here zero has automatically picked up the first income account but you can change it to any other account and you can see we have four accounts of income here then you have other revenue and interest income so i will stick to preventive services for now and now you can see that we have completed all of our data the next thing that we need to do is to now you have multiple options you can do save and close and you will do save and close if you have to come back later and make some changes to that you will submit it for approval if you have been invited to generate invoices by your company and you have limited rights and you are not authorized to approve that but since in our case we have the full rights we will click on approve here we will click on this drop down and click on approve and if you want to stick to the same screen to add another invoice you will say approve and add another so i will just approve it for now and then you will see that we have some op options that we can use okay so first of all this okay we can skip this part here first of all this invoice is awaiting payment we have just raised the invoice yet we haven't marked any payment against it this is very important to understand and secondly you know all of these details are appearing here now you can print pdf for this and you can also email this invoice right from here but before we go there and see all these options i need to discuss something very important with you and that is what will be the impact of raising this invoice on our books so first of all you can see that we have raised this invoice on 10th of august so we can see that what are the reports uh, showing us on 10th of august here so accounting and then we have to see a balance sheet report and and profit and loss statement report both of them are very important for us so first of all let us take a look at the balance sheet here so we can directly go to 10th of august so that you know we can directly see what is happening for this particular account and for this invoice that you have recorded this is the line that is appearing let me explain you what is happening so by raising the invoice or in other words you can say by just recording the income this way you have said that you have earned the income of 200 dollars but we haven't marked it at pay as paid yet you know payment has not been recorded so that $200 has been earned by you that means they are receivable so this balance and balance sheet will be reflected into the accounts receivable on the other hand if I take you to the profit and loss statement and run it for this specific date that is 10th of August 2024 and just run it for the specific date let us click on update so this 200 will be reflected here for this particular date that is preventive services 200 dollars now let us summarize all of these things together let us go back to invoice we raised the invoice to amanda clinton we recorded the income of preventive services and from amanda we will be receiving 200 dollars against this invoice in the future the money that will be receivable is shown as 
accounts receivable in the balance sheet under the assets since this is something that will be bringing us the future economic benefits this is recorded as an asset the income that we have recorded is reflected in the profit and loss statement here and finally if you like to see all the invoices that has been raised to Amanda Clinton or any other customer you will be going to accounting and click here on income and expenses by contact and this will take you to this screen where you will be able to see the invoices or expenses for against all the contacts and here if you click on this balance of Amanda Clinton it will take you to the summary for all the invoices raised and all the payments received from Amanda Clinton now that's bring us to the end of this lecture but before we end let me show you something very important here in our profit and loss statement you can see that we are able to see this income of $200 for which we have raised the invoice now please listen to me carefully we have not received the money yet it means that this report is being run on a accrual basis which means that when the income has been earned it has been recorded in your zero books it will be shown here but in your business you may often like to see the report on cash basis you may like to see that only show me the income where I have actually received the cash for that you will go to these options here more options and you will click on cash here and now you will click on update and for this particular day no income will be reflected and this is because even though you have raised the invoice there was no cash yet so we have recorded this complete transaction now in the next lecture let us also pay this invoice and after that we will also learn how to share this invoice in a beautiful PDF or in a beautiful printout format with our customer. So let's do that in the next lecture.